I want to welcome you back to our conversation that we're having on how to share Christ with other people. Once you've come to know Jesus and he's changed your life, you, you want to tell others about him. And you, one of the greatest joys that you'll ever have is telling people what Jesus Christ has done for you. And then seeing someone come to Christ is, is so exciting. So many people have never experienced that, and God wants you to experience that, to share your faith in Christ with others, and to even see some people come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior as a result of what, what you do. God wants to use you. You are important. And I've been visiting with Wayne Jenkins, and Wayne, it's been such a good, rich time of talking about so many things from prayer to the Holy Spirit to sharing your testimony and developing relationships. And and and, and we've we're been getting very practical here. And you, we talked about developing a relationship with pre people that, that are authentic because we love them to try to share the greatest thing right. in the whole world. Now, uh, one of the biggest problems I find is just getting started. Exactly. I mean, w with anything in life, just getting started is hard. <laughs> but especially when you come to the most important thing in life, getting started and sharing Christ with someone else. So how do we get started? How do we begin a conversation? I mean, just on a very practical level, how do yeah. we do that? Even, even if this is somebody that you've built a relationship with, uh, sometimes even sitting down with them, you've built a, you're a friend of theirs, but getting started, knowing where to start, uh, is is sort of awkward for us sometimes, but it it becomes especially awkward if it's somebody that you meet in some sort of location. God gives you an opportunity, and and you don't you don't know the person very well. I f I find that there there's a natural flow of a conversation that will get you get you there. Uh, one is talk about their family. Sammy, do you have any children? And, yeah, and and, and and of course they'll say, yeah, I've got children. You want to see all the pictures of my grandchildren? Yeah. You know, they'll right. they'll talk about that, and you're you're talking about something that that, that so that's they're, important they're, to them. Important to them. Uh, then then you you talk about their occupation, or maybe they're in school. It depends on where what age group you're dealing with. Uh, what, what do you do in your line of work? You know, uh, what's your role? Tell me something about it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 then you want to look for a. What, what I would term a, a religious word that is a neutral word. In other words, there's a word that, that would be understood by a person who is a, a, an unbeliever and a person who's in church, somebody who's uh, secular in their thinking to someone who is spiritual in their thinking. And, and here's the problem. This person that I'm dealing with, my, by and large, when I come to start talking to him, he's way over here in the secular. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about things that he has to do in regular day-to-day -day things, that, and it may not have anything to do with anything spiritual. I've got to move him over here to the spiritual to talk to him. So I've talked about something meaningful, his family. I've talked about his work. And, and then he's been willing to share that with me. So there's it's an intimate relationship beginning to develop. And I just say, uh, by, by the way, uh, uh, Sammy, when, when you go to church, where do you go to church? Now, I didn't ask him how often he goes to church. You know, or anything, and it's it's, it's not a it's a, it, that's one way to do it. You know, now now in in, in a and, number and, of the countries, this is going to be relevant. But in yeah, some countries, right. uh, <laughs> there are not even any churches right uh, in, in existence. So, what would you say to a person? Let's say a person from uh, a, a place like Iran or China that you know they don't have churches just on down the street and every block that type of thing. Um, would you would you say have 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 you ever met any Christians or do you know any uh, person who is a, a have you ever met any followers of Christ or you, you, something that that is another way you can do it and, and that that would be good because they at least may have heard the name of Christ even if it's in a sense of we don't like those people mm -hmm. you know have you ever met those people but but remember you you you've got a warm enough relationship now where this person is talking to you. Yeah. And, and so you know the Spirit of God at least is working some in, in life. So, so kind of the key is... You're you trying know, to build a bridge here. And, and but from what I'm hearing you say to get to this, this thing of talking about spiritual, something spiritual uh, or religious or whatever way you want to put it, first you've got to get their focus on them. Yeah, And the right. things that they're interested in. Their family, their, their job, and, and, and just School, kind of begin a conversation. And yeah. then... And then as you've developed this relationship, then you begin to talk to them 
uh, uh, move it into, okay, spiritual things. That's right. And, um, uh, you know, I know in, for instance, a lot of Muslim countries, people have heard of Jesus, but only as a prophet. And you ask them, what, what do you think of Jesus? That's exactly you know, right. You can do or the that. prophet, or, you know, and start off that. Or in a, in a Western country like Brazil or like the United States, you could say, where do you go to church? So yeah. it's according to where you're at and that situation. Go ahead. Yeah, and uh, then from there, you, you would move into to, to what we would say would be the message, whatever, whatever form of tool that you may use. You, you may just say, listen, I, I, I've, I've got a, a, a little a pamphlet here that has meant a lot to me that, 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 that helps me uh, help me in my spiritual life. Do you mind if I share that with you for a few minutes? Mm-hmm. And, and you're, you're really, you're, you're asking them. You're asking for their permission, and they give you that permission to do it, then you begin to share it with them. Uh, if, if you've got a Mark New Testament that we'll talk about later, it may be that you, you, you so you can use this on any of them, in, yeah. any of your tools. Yeah. And you know, one thing for, say, a person that, where they're in a country where they don't have the ability to have a piece of literature that's not permitted, one of the things they can do is say, hey, I found a website that is really fantastic. Yeah. And that web, a website is nothing but an electronic pamphlet. Yeah, you know? that's right. And so, you, in other words, so here, go check this out. That's right. And so they can use they can use that as a, a, a means of doing it. Yeah, and if you've got if you've got that already printed up, you can say, hey, look, here's a website, you know, and you just give it to them. Uh, the the other thing is at this point is an excellent place. Said, do you mind if I can t- tell you my story? Yeah, absolutely. And you go right into your personal testimony, and then you can move from that personal testimony. Uh, to a, uh, look, I've got something that will help you go to this website. It may be to hand them a, a, a little gospel pamphlet, you mm-hmm. know. It may be to give them a Mark New Testament. It, it could be any of those things that you'd use uh, to help them with it. So, so just uh, some kind of tool that will explain the gospel, yeah. explain what Christ has done for us. Let me, let me just suggest a couple of things. Yeah. For people, say, like in Brazil, the United States, uh, Romania, where they, they have access to be able to do this, let me encourage them to find some really good, solid materials. There's a little a booklet that Billy Graham has that is in a number of languages called Peace with God. That's right. And d- get that. I know it's in Russian, Romanian, you know, just a lot of languages. Portuguese. Get, get that, Portuguese. Right. Get that and keep some of those with you. That's right. Right, and then when when you have that opportunity to have a conversation, say, "Hey, here's something that that would share with you." And and in places where uh, there there may they may have the access to developing a website that they can use a card similar to this that we've got that we've developed a website that simply I, I can leave this for the person. It, it's got it's got ten different languages on it, and it just says thank you. If somebody does a service for me. Uh, maybe a waitress, maybe at a motel, maybe at a mechanic shop. I can say, look, thank you for you. You know, when you pay them, and then you say, look, when you get a chance, go to that website on the back and read my story. And again, it's the use of your testimony. What, what is the website that they would go to to find this? Well, the well, they movie? they can they can go to whativaluemost.com. Whativaluemost.com. Okay, on your screen, what I value most. Dot com. Dot com. And they can put in I- any name, but like they can put in my name, Wayne Jenkins, and they can read my story. Okay, so you can go to whativaluemost.com and write in Wayne Jenkins. That's on your screen. You'll see it right there, and you can use that to share with people. So this is just a simple tool, something that you can use to share Christ with others.